When I was a child, one of my favorite television programs was The Muppet Show. Every night before I went to bed, I would tune into the show. I would always get excited when my favorite character, Kermit, appeared. Right after dinner that night, I tuned in and to see the green fog that always brought a smile to my face. The show started out normal with Kermit introducing a a special guest star. However, things turned a little strange when Kermit introduced the special guest, Satan. And instead of the normal happy music, normal happy singing, there was no sound at all. Instead, the camera faded into a black and white doorway. As the camera inched closer and closer, I began to hear small bits of white noise. It then cut out to a scene of Kermit in front of the standard red theater curtains. There was there were several wrongs there were several things out of place though. However, Kermit's head seemed warped and longer than usual. The colors he was composed of were now different and darker. The bricks were also covered er with a very bright substance which seemed to be carelessly splattered about the wall. Kermit did not say anything. Instead, he just stared blankly at the camera, barely, barely moving. I'm not quite sure how long the scene lasted, but it, but to me it seemed like... It, it seemed to go on forever. Finally, the scene transitioned to a dimly ri- lit room that seemed to be someone's attic. The film was in black and white again, and the only source of light came from behind some boxes in the back. The room was very dirty and had at random objects scattered across the floor. There was a dirty old, old projector t- or toppled over in the middle of the room. As well, I started, I stared at a bit, at it uh, for a bit, until something suddenly moved behind it. What I saw will haunt me uh, for the rest of my life. An overstretched, limbless, and filthy Kermit puppet was being slowly dragged across the floor by an unseen string. It looked lifeless uh, until the head, be- head began to crane towards the camera. Uh, even though no one I was puppeteering it. It took ages as for the poor frog's gaze to finally reach me. But as soon as it did, the program cut to static. I just sat in silence, frozen by fright, and staring at the TV. To this day, I still don't have a clue what happened that night. The Muppet Show will always be one of my favorite television shows, but it will never be quite the same because of that fateful night.